are Unboxing China, Unbox, I'm Nancy. So Box, have you ever heard of the super buzzword of this year, Metaverse? Sure I did, and frankly, I have no idea what that actually means. <gasps> oh, neither do I. Mm -hmm. But I've watched the movie Free Guy, mm -hmm. and that's quite close to what I imagine the Metaverse to be in my mind. So that's a very good point, and today we might get a chance to have a better understanding of what wow. the Metaverse really looks like, because mm -hmm. we are at an exhibition hosted by Baidu, and we will get into the Metaverse ourselves, although I'm not sure how that's made possible. Okay, so let's go and have a look. Yeah, let's go. Now we are already in the virtual world created by Baidu. This is the virtual version of me. And this is me, Box. It's a bit surreal. We are not with each other physically, but virtually we are walking alongside each other and talking as if we are together. Maybe we should show our viewers how we get into the universe. Haha, <laughs> sure. If you're an experienced video game player, you will find this process extremely familiar. Yeah, we start with creating our avatars. And then, here we are! Ta-da! <laughs> the virtual us in a virtual world. Yeah. And Baidu named this world Xirang. It is a Chinese legend of soil that can grow continuously by itself. And let's review what metaverse really means. So, I'm reading the <laughs> definition, by the way. It's a combination of multiple high-tech elements, including like mobile internet, the internet of things, VR, AR, AI videos, the list goes on. Wow. So basically, all those fancy tech terms you've heard of. Mm -hmm. And Metaverse is supposed to make users like us feel like they are living in a digital universe. Mm -hmm. So Box, do you feel that way? How do you like this world you're in? It's like a complex video game for me, mm -hmm. with so many high-tech functions in one game. Ah uh, yeah, it's like those open-world video games if you really think about it. But it has way more social features and actually Baidu is hosting its annual creator summit in this world and we should check it out. So we are now in the conference room. We are told it can host a hundred thousand audience at the same time. Wow! <laughs> With possible sex to the cloud technology. Yeah, look around. There's so many people in yeah. this room actually. And I definitely I expect the presentations to be much fancier. Wow, Box, look at that flying car. It really reminds me of Iron Man, you know, um, when Tony Stark waves his hand and all the tech emerges in the air. Yeah, that's definitely not a cheap ball if it's a meeting in the real world. Yeah. Still, it's a bit limited if we are just uh, having this experience on our phone screen. Uh -huh, then it's time to let VR technology kick in. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, you should try it on. So Box, have you ever tried VR before? No, it's my first time. <gasps> oh, how do you feel? A bit dizzy and I can't find my way. <laughs> yeah. Oh, how do I operate it? You can't find your way in the real world, so I guess it's the same in the virtual world. Yeah, I lost my way. Yeah, and it's so funny from my point of view seeing you just like doing your stuff, but I can't see the world that you are seeing. So do you find this world more real? More or less, but it's still like a cartoon world for me, not totally real. Uh, I think we are still quite early in this metaverse thing, so I guess that's why. Mm -hmm. So Box, you just had your first metaverse and also VR experience today. How do you feel about it? Actually, I'm still a bit dizzy now. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. But anyway, it helped me travel to the Shaolin Temple. I've never been there before. Oh, I guess that's the point about this whole metaverse thing, that is to break the physical boundaries, that is to get you to places you've never been before and show you stuff that's now presentable in the real world. Yes, and to connect people far away. Yeah. Today, what we see is just a physical version of metaverse. And there's still a lot more possibilities. So we are looking forward to it. And that's all for today's Unboxing China. Yeah. See you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. I found a way to enter the temple. <laughs> and I lost myself. Uh, do you feel daisy right now? Yeah. <laughs> I might still be now. Oh, where am I? <laughs>